Step 1. Master the non-negotiable technical foundation. Build your cyber skeleton. Start with Python. Write a script to brute force a mock login portal. Use requests in Beautiful Soup to automate attacks. Then pivot to Rust for memory-safe exploit development. Think buffer overflow prevention. Dive into networking. Sniff packets with Wireshark. Spoof DNS to redirect traffic and exploit ARP vulnerabilities to become the man in the middle. Live inside Linux. Customize Kaylee 2025 with kernel modules to intercept system calls. Finally, reverse engineer malware. Load a ransomware sample into Ghidra 5.0. Analyze its assembly code and find the kill switch. If you can't disassemble a binary, you're just a script kitty with a VPN. Step 2. Deploy cutting-edge tools of the future. Arm yourself with science fiction tools. Use Pentest GPT-4, an AI that auto-generates attack vectors by crawling a target's digital footprint. Train in VR hacking simulators like CyberGym 2025, where you'll breach a virtual bank's AI-driven firewall or sabotage a simulated power grid. To hack drones or satellites, grab a software-defined radio, SDR, a $20 USB dongle that lets you intercept GSM signals or replay garage door codes. For deepfakes, tools like DeepGuard teach you to manipulate facial recognition algorithms by injecting adversarial noise into video frames. Remember, in 2025, hacking isn't about typing, it's about outsmarting AI with better AI. Step 3. Sprint through the 30-day hyper-learning curve. Grind like the world depends on it. Week 1. Try HackMe's Quantum Room, a lab where you defend AI systems against adversarial attacks using reinforcement learning. Week 2. Hack the Box's AI Battlefield, a CTF where AI bots hunt you as you exploit vulnerabilities. Pro tip. Bypass their ML intrusion detection by mimicking normal traffic patterns. Week 3. Certifications. Get CEH V12 to master IoT exploits or OS CP 2.0 with its new quantum module. Yes, you'll crack lattice crypto challenges. Week 4, go pro. Join Hacker One Space Lab and hunt bugs in code controlling Mars rovers. And by day 30, you'll be drafting zero day reports or selling them, but don't. Step 4. Operate in the shadows without getting burned. Operating in the shadows doesn't mean leaving a trail. Start with anonymity tools, layer a no-logs VPN like Proton VPN with Tor to mask your IP, but remember, Tor exit nodes are watched. Use Tails OS, a live OS that routes everything through Tor and leaves no trace. For communication, Signal with self-destructing messages or key base for encrypted teams. Now the legal minefield, even probing a network without permission violates laws like the CFAA, Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, or the UK's Computer Misuse Act. Always work in sandboxes. Platforms like Hack the Box or Try Hack Me simulate real targets legally. If you're testing a live site, get written consent, a screenshot saved in triplicate, and never ever hack on public Wi-Fi without a VPN. That coffee shop's router could be a honeypot run by a board cybersecurity student. Monetize ethically. Bug bounty platforms like BugCrowd or HackerOne turn your skills into cash without jail time. The rule? If you're sweating while typing, you're doing it wrong. Step 5. Build a home lab, your cyber playground. Grab old hardware. A Raspberry Pi 5 becomes a VPN server or malware sandbox. Set up VirtualBox or Proxmox. Clone a Windows 10 VM. Infect it with mock ransomware and analyze its behavior in Wireshark. Configure a honeypot. Deploy a fake IoT camera on your network and watch hackers attack it. Then dissect their methods. Use Docker to spin up vulnerable web apps like OWASP Juice Shop. Practice SQL injections until you dream in semicolons. Your lab is where you break things so the real world stays unbroken. Step 6. Cultivate the hacker mindset. Think like a criminal, act like a hero. Rewire your brain. Hacking isn't just code, it's psychology. Learn social engineering. Call a company, mimic an IT admin, and fish for internal docs, ethically, in a lab. Master OSINT, open source intelligence. Scrape public LinkedIn data to guess corporate passwords. Study lockpicking. Physical security flaws teach you how digital systems break. Play chess. Anticipate five moves ahead, like bypassing multi-factor authentication by hijacking SMS APIs. The best hackers don't just see vulnerabilities, they see stories. Why does that admin use password 123? Because they're overworked, underpaid, and human. Exploit the machine, but respect the human. Step 7. Join the underground, but stay in the light. Infiltration with integrity. Lurking on dark web forums, 
through Tor safely, teaches you attacker slang in zero-day markets, but never engage. Contribute to open source tools, fork the Metasploit GitHub repo, add a module, and earn cred. Attend cons like DFCon, compete in CTFs, learn to pick RFID locks, and network with white hats. Share your hacks on Medium, exploit a vintage PHP app, write a walkthrough. The line between hero and villain is thin. Stay on the right side by giving back more than you take.